hello guys happy new month to you all you're welcome back to my channel my name is Nilo so today I'm going to show you how to make your peplum stand for this tutorial I made I made use of 720 degree peplum okay and for the bodies is the princess that bustier I cut I uploaded last week okay that's what I used to make the bodies and this is not actually my as you can see I did not zip it up to the bustier the zip only ended at the waist area because it's not my size so I just wait to show you guys how it looks okay if you're new to my channel and you've not subscribed please click on the subscribe button below Turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time I upload new video. Like and share my video with your soulmates and your friends and family. And also check out my other tutorials. Thank you for always stopping by. Thank you for watching my videos. See you in my next tutorial. So guys, I'm making use of 720 degree peplum, okay? I made a tutorial on that, on how to cut... 360 and 720 degree peplum. I'm going to leave the link on the description box below. If you've not watched that, please go check it out. Okay, so this is two pieces of it, and I'm making use of um, double peplum, double step. So the lining is also cut the same, and this is the short one, as you can see, is also two. All right, the short one is 2.5 inch shorter than the longer one. Okay, so it's 2.5 inch shorter. All right, so and this is the so this is the feasible interface I'll be making use of, and this is called um peplum stay. Okay, it's sold for 300 naira in my area. I don't know about your place, so just say peplum stay, and then I'm going to one part of this stay has gum, and the other parts don't have gum, so this is the gum area, all right. This upper one is the one that has gum, and then I'm going to place the peplum right side face, wrong side facing the gum area. Okay, so the wrong side of the fabric is facing down, and this part you're seeing is the right side. Okay, so you place the wrong side of the Ankara on the gum, this part that has gum on the stay, so that you can iron it and it will gum, okay? As you can see, I have not opened any part of the peplum. This is because I want to iron this first on it before I slit it, okay? Before I cut it, all right? So I'm going to iron this on it. And then I'll trace it out after ironing, all right? In case you are wondering how many yards of stay you're going to make use of, I bought two yards, but I didn't finish it. I think I make I made use of one one and a half or so. All right, I bought two yards, which is six hundred naira, and I think I didn't I didn't make use of up to one and a half. All right, so I'm done ironing this, and I'm going to cut it out, guys. I'm so sorry about the camera; it's kind of shaking. This is because. I was actually filming at night, you know, Nepal brought light and I decided to take the advantage and iron. All right. So I'm going to trace this out all around. Okay, guys, I'm, I am done tracing it all around. And as you can see, today is another day. So the day is bright. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to cut this out or how to open it, okay? Right, so I'm making use of this one to show you how to cut. So what I'm just what I'm going to do now is to just mark a straight line. Any part of the circle, anywhere you like, just mark a straight line there. Okay, make sure the line is straight and then you you cut it, okay? Like this. And this is also to enable you cut out the circle on the center. All right? So, I'm going to cut it out like so. I'll be tracing it out all around. Okay? So, 
so i'm done cutting and i've also done the same and i'm going to do the same on the other ones too okay i'm going to be doing that off camera to save time okay so guys i'm done tracing out all the circles in the middle in the in center part and i'm going to join like so so this is the short peplum all right so i'm going to join them like this okay I'm going to join like so and then I will I'm going to stitch it make sure they align properly okay right side facing right side okay you join them right side facing right side like this okay and then I'm going to stitch with half an inch okay I'll be stitching with half an inch and I'll do the same on the other big peplum too okay All right, guys, I'm done joining the two together. You remember 720 degree peplum, you are cutting to flay to make 720. So you join the two together and also join the lining the same, okay? And then now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to turn this with your lining, okay? So you place the lining right side facing the right side of the fabric, okay? And make sure your lining is lying flat in order to in order for, for easy sewing okay so that you will not have problems when sewing okay you know this is circle and it can be very tricky and difficult at times so just make sure that your lining is lying flat on the um ankara or fabric and then you're just going to use pin to secure it all around and then after that you're going to sew all right so guys i just want to do one more then i'll do the rest of camera okay so make sure you are smoothing your lining like this make sure you smooth it the way i'm doing and then you pin okay to enable you so easily all right so All right, so I'm going to be doing this off camera and I'm going to sew all around with half an inch, okay? Then I'm going to be completing the rest off camera. Okay, guys, I'm done joining them with half an inch seam and then I'm going to top stitch on the lining, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to open it up like so and then you top stitch on the lining, okay? Top stitch like this. On the line on top stitch on the fabric or as your stitches will be showing just top stitch on the lining only like this okay and then i'll do that in the other peplum so i'm done top stitching on the lining as you can see okay i top stitch on the lining and i've also sew the side okay i joined the side so that it should be neat when you're going to and uh, turn and uh, fix your zip or so so i'm going to turn it out like this okay <laughs> i'm going to turn this other side too you sew the two sides after you have top stitch on your lining okay and then you turn like this and this is what you are going to have after turning all right So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pull it up like so. Make sure that this place you top stitch is on the inside like this. Just smoothing it the way I'm doing and then you iron it out. Okay. After ironing, did you see how it looks? Then you sew here with half an inch. All right. You'll be pulling it up a little and then you sew with half an inch. And after that, I am going to join that. And it's going to look like this after you sew okay did you see this one it's gonna look like so after you join after you sew the lining sorry after you sew the waist area okay and then i'm going to be joining the two like so <laughs> so i'm going to place this on it after i'm at have sew all of them on the waist and then i'll join them with half an inch too 
okay i'll sew them around and then i'll attach to the main bodies and that is all guys okay thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos it really mean a lot to me see you in my next tutorial have a nice day bye